everyone, on behalf of the Mindalia TV team, we want to welcome you to Mindalia live streaming. Daily, we gather to see lectures and interviews that are transmissions throughout the whole world with great uh, speakers. Uh, we have authors. We have every thing that you can imagine is being shared here through our screens. Today, the person that is accompanying us is Ademar Calvalo in the topic that he's going to be talking about is extraterrestrials and spirituality from a comprehensive approach. Uh, he is a retired military officer and it's my pleasure now to allow him and to give him the screen and to give him the microphone, Ademar. The screen is all yours. Welcome to Mindalia. Okay. Okay, people, good afternoon because we are in Brazil. In Brazil, it's 5 p.m. And now, as I'm so glad to stay here, that opportunity to talk to this audience, because we are going to talk about the complex uh, subjective. Now, we have a mission with more two people to disclose the spiritual things. And this kind of subjective that we'll treat today belongs for the ancient schools of mysteries, like Pythagorean schools, essence, that, that schools knew about what we, we are talking about. But now the order of the venerable Master Akron that gave us this wisdom is to disclose what the, broad, the white brotherhood had hidden in the desert Egypt. Then, uh, at first, I would like to talk about our planetary system and what is the role of the, our sun and why the ancient civilizations adore the sun. Nothing with, with weather, nothing with ties or rains, like, a, like I told you, weather, because the sun is a consciousness, is a consciousness that rule our planetary system. That's why Every ancient civilizations talk about the sun. It's also a star. But the main role of the sun is, is to be a commander of our planetary, planetary system. That's correct. Everybody, everybody understand? Then, now we are going to explain our hierarchy is spiritual and that and that that hierarchy belongs to extraterrestrial extraterrestrial at first there was there were three previous planetary system before ours the first one the oldest get the, the experience like humanity in Mercury. That's why Mercury by the old Greeks called by Hermes, the father of the wisdom because of the three civilizations, they are the oldest. That's why the reason that's the, uh, this planetary system has done, it's over. Then another one had surge and the, that humanity get this experience like we are at now in Mars. And after that, planetary system, we get 
the new of the three that get the experience like humanity at moon, at moon. Then we have three previous civilizations, humanities before ours. Then, but the physical structure of them was complete different from we have now. For example, in Mercury, the physical structure was atomic. In Mars, was subatomic. And at Moon, was super ethereal. Okay, then we have three different structures and each civilizations give us a principle for the humans being now, each civilizations. But that's, we are gonna treat about uh, our system now. Uh, these planetary systems has gone over long, long, long time ago, millions of years ago. Then, in our system now, the the, the humanity of the Mercury, the, the advanced people, are in Saturn. The that oh, okay, I made a may, may mistake. The advanced people get inside Earth. And the medium people are in Saturn. And no latecomers, no delays in that civilizations right now. In uh, planetary systems of Mars, the advanced people are in Jupiter. The medium people are inside Earth, and a few retarded, incarnated like human beings. And the, the new, the new, the newest of the three, the advanced people are inside Earth. The median people is in Venus, in Venus. That's why very, very common to want to see in the old civilizations like Sumerians, Aztecs, Mayas, talking about Venus. And that civilizations, the new of the three, the, the, that's, that get more relationship with our mankind. You see that the planets more subtle gas that civilizations because all the universe, all the universe is frequency, is frequency, dimensions, different dimensions. And, and uh, the earth right now is the civilizations, more childhood, more childhood. And these civilizations treat us like gods, like gods. If you understand about, I'm talking just about our planetary system. I'm not talking about other galaxies the principle, the main structure of evolution is in our planetary system. The, that those three civilizations that are inside Earth represent like a Theosophist, Theosophy told us by Blavatsky, the underground roads. And the name, 
that Theosophy gave to them was for Mercury was Shambhala, for Mars was Agartha, for Moon was Duat. That's why the Pharaoh, when he passed away, he, he went to Anduat. Anduat, because he was represent this civilization. These three civilizations inside the earth represent the hierarchy spiritual of earth. And someone maybe can ask, and why this? Because those experience of these civilizations were different from our experience. And, uh, and after all, this experience with the extraterrestrial experience, we're going to join together because the universe wants this experience. Because if it was the same experience, no makes sense because the universe don't use unnecessary energy, energy, then that those experience we going together in joy, joy to make a different one. I hope I, I clear, I, my explanation was clear. I hope that I very speak slowly and because of language, of course. And this hierarchy spiritual gave us rules and don't interfere in free will of the human beings. But don't forget that this is a program. We have free will, but we cannot interfere in the program. We have free will, but we cannot interfere in free will. If will, this mankind, these humanities will interfere because to thus disbalance our planetary system. Understand? Then some uh, people talk about the extraterrestrials many times about another galaxy, another constellation, but no extraterrestrials came here unnecessary because these three humanities that had responsibility to create and to govern the, the mankind doesn't permit, doesn't allow, because everyone in the universe gets responsibility for parts of the universe or the civilizations. All the, all the, the, the universe had, had, has civilizations, but in this part, in this part, in, in this planetary system, we have these three civilizations take care of us. Then, like I told you, they are inside of Earth, but they are not in caves. They are in different dimensions, in different frequency. That why the, the UFOs came to our dimension and you see, you can see, and after disappear because the UFO returns to his dimension. And then in, in that dimension, we cannot see 
spiritual world is not a, a, a world with angels and something like that. Is a world divided by frequency. When you die, you will go to the frequency equal as you have. That's why if you, if you were a good person, you will go to the frequency and the people there has the frequency like you. That's wonderful. That's why it's wonderful. The spiritual world is completely separated. But in the field of experience or, or incarnate, like human beings, like we are now, we have all the frequencies together. We have people doing marvelous things and people doing terrible things. But in spiritual world, all this frequency are separated. Then, that is important to speak and explain about this information, extraterrestrial informations. We have to understand what is the role of this civilization with us. They take care, but our free will is necessary for experience of us. At the end of this part, this earth, this planet, the frequency we're going to change, and the Earth is going to be more subtle, and the frequency is going to be high. That's why, that's what happened right now in Earth, because some parts of galaxy, uh, like, how can I say, a mega, mega impulsor, is sending high frequency levels of frequency to our planet. But this frequency needs to be passed for our sun. And sun give to us to uh, put our frequency in high level in high level. This is the planetary transition. This is planetary transition. Like I told you, whole the universe is frequency. And in now, in now, in our program right now, is necessary to change the frequency. And some parts of the humanity that can stay in this future frequency, stay here. And parts, that frequency, frequency is below, is going to change to another planet to finish their experience there and with the intentions to return to Earth in the, in the future, in the future. And this planet is, is still coming, but it is in our planetary system. Uh, uh, years ago, I, I can remember three or four years ago, I was reading a news from NASA that uh, he, 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 he knows that uh, different corpses was inside our planetary system because uh, interference in the planets. This planet that is coming is not a physical, a dense physical like Earth. 
is super ethereal, is ethereal, phys physical ethereal. It, it works like our per spiritual, or people tell duplo ethereal, our, our duplo ethereal. But now he's coming, he's near Earth. It is in our planetary system. Then that's why we need to know our role here for evolution and the role of these civilizations because when he, they introduced to us and at first it was the people from Venus, Venus, what was first. We need to understand. It was no uh, 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 everybody here in stadium, and I'm going to explain. I'm a extraterrestrial. Uh, it, it won't happen this way. We need to be prepared to understand what is the role of this human, humanity. That's why uh, many masters, many informations is coming to us. That's why, because the human beings right now get the conditions to understand what I'm talking about. In the ancient times, it was impossible because the capacity, the mental capacity of the human beings was, were very short very, the human beings was incapable to understand. That's why many, many masters are, are told this information. If I get a, a, a next opportunity to talk about the spiritual families, is another subjective, very, very interesting, but it's not the case right now. You understand about the masters. For understand about the masters, who who are who was the masters, and and, and our relation with the masters. Uh, the moon that I told you that belongs to this humanity is not the moon that we we are seeing right now. This moon is a different one. Got the same name but it's a different one. And I, uh, I asked to Mirna to, ex to explain about the constructions that there was, there is a moon in Mars. I'm gonna explain this because a venerable master Akron told us about this in the 60s, in the 60s, the people never uh, knows anything about the sort of rest in this time, 60, because in uh, Aquarius time it started in 1959. In the 60s, this, what I'm gonna explain about these constructions was told to have a short people to become to understand or the understandings. In the ancient, in, in our planet, during the Lemuria and during the Atlantis, like I told you, the, the retards, the, the latecomers incarnate like human beings, but they were a different capacity, technolo technological capacity. They built ships. That those ships went to Moon and Mars, and these civilizations, extraterrestrial, that wa that was in Lemuria and Atlantis went to Moon and Mars. That's why this planet gets constructions 
over there. What I can explain, this came from our earth, built by extraterrestrials, but extraterrestrials that lived among human beings, but in the different situations, the extraterrestrials like governors and the human beings like a people. That's why in, in, in the, the, the ancient pharaoh seems that belongs to extraterrestrials because it was true. But the wisdom that they had belong, belonged the first and the second uh, dynasty. After this, it started to, to lose the comprehension, the comprehension about the connection that these extraterrestrials had. Then the easiest veil, like uh, Madame Blavatsky told, the easiest veil came and the connection between this retarded delays extraterrestrials, the connection with this uh, their civilization gone. But in this time, some people that are incarnates like human beings started to perceive difference between human beings and extraterrestrials. I'm gonna show you some examples of extraterrestrials, but never, some are important, some others no, because for the universe, the importance is the experience. I'm gonna show some names, Tesla, Einstein, Lavoisier, Mozart, Beethoven, Bach. That's the importance names. But these civilizations get experience like a nun, like uh, people, common people also, because in the spirit, spirit uh, uh, world, it doesn't matter what you be in moon in, in the earth if if you you important people or you know what important is experience universe wants experience then in some books spirit books it doesn't matter when you pass away i am a president i am a a famous scientist, it doesn't matter. You started like in your what your frequency uh, belongs. You study, it doesn't matter what the role you 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 you, you do you did in the in, in during you stay incarnate. It doesn't matter. The universe wants experience. Our experience. Is the most important. Then uh, 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 it was important to explain about these mysteries, about these constructions in Moon, in Mars. These planets now actually are dead planets. There were, there was in each planet a rest of life, a rest of life. But the life is in Saturn, and Atlantis uh, call them like Arion, not Saturn, Arion, or son of son of fire. It was uh, the, the Atlantis call the Arions, Jupiter and Venus, and see these planets. 
is less dense than our planet because we are children compared with these civilizations. We are children coming, but this experience is necessary and important to enjoy, to join with the experience of the, these humanities to make a different things, uh, to complete uh, experience of the sun. That why everybody in these planetary systems are sons, sons of the sun. That's um, why I would like to explain. I have time, but it's very difficult to, to, to understand because sometimes when you talk about this, the impact in the mind is very, very shocking because and we think about the extraterrestrials the people that coming from another galaxy, other constellation, no, they are here in our planetary system. Then so, some persons want to discuss about the life in other constellation. What? We don't know our planetary system. How can we know about the other galaxy? How can you go, go to another constellation? And this role and, and the, the change of frequency and the appearance of these humanities is close, very, very close. For uh, then is the preparations for us to understand this time to understand and not is of course I think it will be a surprise very very interesting to see uh, uh, people the different humanities but technology of them is very 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 superior of, uh, of us sometimes when you see the UFOs that crash in our earth. Come on, a civilization with millions of years advanced of us can uh, catch this machine and to return to this planet of, for his planet. Of course, it's, it's a deliberated Question for the human beings started to study this uh, technology to get an impulse in our technology. It's a, it's a, there is a proposal, a proposal to do that. If if when you go to, in, in during the war. You get some equipment. How the army uh, started to return, return the equipment to, to, to our army. It's an unimagined uh, civilization with many millions of the year. Can, 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 back, can, can uh, uh, return to his equipment. Of course, this, they leave propo proposally uh, deliberated for our scientists started to study this technology and started to make re-engineer, engineer reverse. Ademar, um, we wanted to ask you about, are, are we actually coexisting 
with beings from other planet here in on Earth? Yes. Why is it that they are not disclosed to the population? Because, uh, the, for example, the people that started to study subjects like from who am I, from where I'm going, yeah, I belong to the inside, that get inside this, this sense of the discover probably belongs for this humanity uh, in, 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 in especially from moon, from moon. And then this time is for a sort of ratio that live like human beings and the human beings advanced started to uh, understand the process, the process, and in, a, in in appearance, they are equals, but in DNA, are difference between the extraterrestrials incarnate and human beings incarnate. The common the common uh, human beings wants to know about the buying a car go to the shopping and uh, pay bills and traveling, that's all. The human beings, as extraterrestrials, incarnate like human beings, our difference started to uh, other interests, like where, uh, uh, how is, how does it work in the spiritual world? Uh, I'm going to study about the frequency, about the dimensions. It started to, to get this necessity to understand more, more, not to live a common life because belongs a, a system planetary much more ancient than this, okay? Thank you. And as we reach the end of this space, what would you like to leave us with? What are your closing thoughts? For me, closing about about the relations and the situation now. Uh, ask me again. Okay, we are of course about the topic about uh, everything that that you talked about. If you wanted to leave us with something like the most important thing that you think is um very relevant and that everybody should know what would it be is the relevance in my opinion is that uh the all the we are frequency we are frequency we need to think much much better without anger without selfish without, but live like human beings, but uh, uh, less selfish anger, because if you think this way, or if you, if you get much, many desires, physical desires, money and sexual desires, and you stay in the low, frequency and when you, you in these transitions you have some problems but what I'm telling for the audience is living like a human beings is necessary this experience like create children's children pay bills, go to the shopping, it's okay. It's not wrong. If you go to the ashram, I stay just praying. Okay, you return in the next incarnation to do what you didn't do in this. Oh, live your life, live your life, your importance, 
it depends of the, your function. Doing well, doing well, what your life plea, plea. If you are a servant, if you like a president, if you are a scientist, if you are a, a tycoon, doesn't matter. But if you stay grabbed by this for money, selfish, and, and all the angers, you will stay in a low frequency. And when you, the transition, you will need to restart it in this planet that's coming. Because we need to pass the year like a school. The earth is a school. Okay, Thank don't so run away of your obligation, <laughs> of your obligations. We have to, we have to comply with what we came here to do, right? Uh, thank you so much for sharing with us your knowledge, for sharing your time. It's been a great pleasure to have you here with us. Thank you for being with the Mindalia community. And to those that are behind the screen, remember we're Mindalia.com, an international nonprofit organization, and you can collaborate with us, liking, subscribing, every interaction that you have with us in the different media or social platforms help us reach one more person outside in the planet. We're gonna send you a very big hug and all our gratitude, it's been a great pleasure to be with you today. Thank you, okay. and we're gonna see you again in the next Mindalia live streaming. Okay.